NBA viewers have been astounded by Luka's style, which entails passing the ball over the top of a nervous defense to an unmarked teammate, rushing forward and putting a floater over the backboard, and taking a giant stride backward to shoot a three-pointer. What are the opinions of Jason, the Mavericks head coach, and Randall, his former coach? Also get Luka's views on shattering Dirk Nowitzki's 21-year Mavericks record. Watch this video for complete details. First up on the top five game in NBA history according to advanced stats is Luka Doncic. With a victory over the New York Knicks and a final game score of 56.3, Luka Doncic ranked fifth all-time in NBA history. In practically every way, Doncic's performance was faultless as he dominated the contest. His inconsistent free-throw shooting during the game is the only reason he isn't a little higher on this ranking. The others simply reflect Luka's shaky FT performance, but he did miss at least one to give the Mavericks an additional possession via rebound. Despite this, he led the Mavs to an unexpected victory, and as a result, he is now ranked as having the fifth greatest individual game in NBA history. Next is James Harden. Doncic is a player that is frequently compared to James Harden. Given that Harden owns the record for the first NBA triple-double with 60 points, Luka's wild performance was the second in league history. In January 2018, he defeated the Orlando Magic and earned a 56.6 game score, narrowly beating Luka. Due to his dismal three-point shooting in this game, Harden took one fewer shots than Luka but ended up making two fewer shots overall. He hustled defensively to keep the Magic, who were in the postseason hunt at bay, and shot lights out from the free throw line. Harden's 2018 campaign, which was the only one of his career to earn the MVP, was made possible by this performance. Up next is Karl Malone. Karl Malone's exceedingly petty performance in January 1990 against the Milwaukee Bucks has a humorous backstory. Karl finished the game with a score of 60.2, comfortably ahead of both Luka and Harden, but also behind the two players ahead of him, thanks to Malone's incredibly efficient 61-point performance against the Bucks. Malone had been left off the 1990 Western Conference All-Star starting lineup for Lakers forward duo James Worthy and A.C. Green. Despite outperforming both guys that season, Malone was defeated by 1,000 votes. After those results were announced, he made a statement with his game, with Malone listed as a reserve. Sadly, he was injured and was unable to play, but he still dominated the Bucks in the game. Next is Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant scored 81 points against the Toronto Raptors. Kobe's 81 points overcame Wilt's 100-point performance to become the second-highest individual single-game mark. Bryant's performance resulted in a score of 63.5 for the game. Bryant attempted to defeat an NBA team on his own and delivered one of the best-scoring performances in NBA history. Kobe Bryant opted to put on this tremendous solo performance to send a message to his skeptics and win the game easily because the Lakers were in a bad position in the post shack period before Pau Gasol joined the team. Next is Michael Jordan. According to the advanced analytics of game scores, it shouldn't be surprising that Michael Jordan had the single greatest game. Jordan accomplished this with 69 points and 18 rebounds against the Cleveland Cavaliers, leading to a game score of 64.4. Since this was in March 1990, MJ still had to carry the Bulls, a year before he won his first title. The stakes of this game were increased because the Bulls and Cavaliers were rivals. Chicago won the game in overtime by four points, so they needed every point and rebound that MJ scored. In the NBA, this contest is the yardstick for evaluating player accomplishments. Luka is demonstrating that there are players in the contemporary day who are going to get close to surpassing it even though it hasn't been topped in 32 years. MJ is in charge up until that point. Up next, Luka Doncic plays with his back to the basket and eyes the MVP. Just over a minute in a game against the Phoenix Suns in earlier December, Luka Doncic dribbled through a teammate's screen. The 23-year-old powerhouse of the Dallas Mavericks turns this normal action into a severe and drastic threat. That night, Doncic used a different strategy and pushed Devin Booker back into the lane with his rump. When Doncic raised his arm for a push shot from 8 feet away, Booker could only slap his arm, adding a free throw to the basket. Doncic has enjoyed the finest offensive season of his career through the first third of the 2022-23 season, scoring 32.2 points per game, shooting 49.4% from the field, and dishing out 8.7 assists. The success of this futuristic representation of basketball is partly due to the post-ups past. The style of play has long been a cornerstone of the game, uniting many of the sport's legendary guards, including Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant, and all of its great big men, including Wilt Chamberlain, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Tim Duncan. Stephen Curry later rewired basketball. Twelve players finished plays in the post at least five times a game during the 2015-16 season. The year following Curry's first championship with the Golden State Warriors, 
years and the year the NBA published play-type data for the first time. Today, only center Nikola Jokic of Denver meets that benchmark, doing it 5.3 times per game. Daryl Armstrong, an assistant coach for the Mavericks, said that the game had changed dramatically in the last 15 years, where one doesn't see a lot of post-ups anymore. He referred to the Warriors' practice of hiding the ball inside as their marksmen set up screens and dart into open space. According to Armstrong, Draymond Green won't post up to score if Golden State tosses the ball to him, but Luka will score if it is tossed to him. Compared to last season, Doncic has posted nearly twice as often, his 4.3 such plays per game rank fourth in the NBA. Watching him allows one to catch a glimpse of a style of play that has been threatened with extinction by a perimeter-focused version of the game. Deliberate, close-range footwork and series of feints, with a layup or fadeaway emerging like the answer to a geometric proof. Guard Jason Randall played alongside Side young Doncic for Real Madrid in Spades Liga ACB while playing for the Grand Rapids Gold of the NBA's G League. The guy now using all 230 of his pounds was described by Randall as not as powerful as he is today, but he had a solid body. Randall attributes Doncic's growth to the tactical priorities of European basketball, which prioritized taking advantage of game by game mismatches over sticking to rehearsed attacks. According to Randall, the ball travels anywhere, and Luca had an advantage over smaller guards in the post since he was a bigger guard. Guard. When he arrived, Doncic took an action of his choosing. Randall singled out a move Doncic imported to the United States in which he gives up the ball, fake passes past his defender's ear and waistband, and then pops a layover in over his head when the major look opportunity arises. Randall said he was always in control and composed and was able to achieve his objectives. Dallas now needs Real Madrid's edge to relieve some of the pressure on its top player. The Mavericks have struggled to find reliable offense from other sources, even though Doncic has improved this season. They let fellow attacking guard Jalen Brunson leave in free agency this summer. Dallas had averaged 119.6 points per 100 possessions, placing them in the 92nd percentile of lineups around the league, according to Cleaning the Glass. That number drops to 106.4 when he sits, placing them in the 7th percentile. Coach Jason Kidd of the Mavericks said Doncic asked what he could do more, but it's difficult to respond when he is doing everything for them. Working out of the post allows Doncic to take a break from driving from the perimeter, giving him more time to command the offense, scoring himself, or, if the opposition sends a double team, spreading passes to the shooters in his area. Armstrong explained that they're trying to provide him the ball in positions where he can score and doesn't have to work hard. Armstrong added that many men attempt to pull him up, wearing down his legs. Despite the strategy's practical justifications, it has a nostalgic allure. Split-screen clips of Doncic and the Mavericks' former franchise pillar, a 7-foot power forward Dirk Nowitzki, can be seen on fan-made highlight videos on YouTube. A spectator might not be able to notice the difference if the players were only silhouettes. Each player uses the same rhythmic dribble, leaning jump shot, and steps underneath the defender's arm for a layup. Andre Miller, Randall's coach in Grand Rapids and previously a point guard in the NBA known for mixing it up close to the basket for 17 years, finds in Doncic a welcome return to basketball's past. Miller acknowledged that he had grown weary of the three-point shot's dominance and claimed that abandoning post play meant putting decades of accumulated basketball knowledge to rest. Miller noted Doncic's readiness to browse the archives while evaluating his work in his former workspace. He said his shiftiness is a cross between Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Miller added that because Charles Barkley can hit one with his butt and shoot a fadeaway, he sees a little bit of Charles Barkley in him. Doncic has had a lot of basketball-watching experience. Finally, Luka Doncic jokes about breaking Dirk Nowitzki's 21-year record with Mavericks. After the unveiling of his statue, Nowitzki expressed his desire for Doncic to play for the Mavericks for at least 21 years. The legend of German basketball stated that they certainly hope Luka can do it, which would be amazing. Doncic acknowledged that it would be challenging to picture himself playing in the NBA for 21 years. After the Los Angeles Lakers were defeated on Christmas, Luka stated that he wasn't sure he would be playing basketball for 21 years. He said he would much rather return to his farm in Slovenia. The fifth year of Luka Doncic's career in the NBA is now underway. From 1998 through 2019, Nowitzki played for Dallas. In 2011, he guided the team to its lone NBA championship. The Mavericks' all-time leader in most categories, including points, rebounds, and blocks, was the German basketball legend who announced his retirement in 2019. His 31,560 career points are good for sixth place all-time in the NBA. With Luka Doncic's comments on Dirk Nowitzki's 21-year record with the Mavericks, it appears the record will remain unbroken for a while. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!